right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. We're going to discover the secrets to some of the best Kentucky cooking that you'll ever taste. That's what this show's all about. Chef Weta Michael from Wallace Station and the Holly Hill Inn is taking us inside the kitchen at her newest hotspot, the Windy Corner Market. And his name was Windy because he talked a lot. <laughs> and she's revealing the secrets to her shrimp and grits that are as good as they get. Best I've ever had. And artichoke fritters said to be the best in the bluegrass. Perfect. Winner, best bluegrass fritter. You'll get the secrets to making these yourself. It's a very, very simple recipe. Plus, for the first time ever, Weta reveals the secret recipe to her famous remoulade sauce. Which is our number one recipe request. I've never released the recipe before this time. You don't want to miss this. It's Country Cooking by one of Kentucky's top chefs and all the secrets that go with it. Right now on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Laird with more secrets of bluegrass chefs. This time we're just outside of Lexington in the middle of horse country where we found a place that has great bluegrass eats. Windy Corner. It's out in the country. Oh, I really love the location. It's perfect. Perfect location and irresistible food. It's fantastic. Very fresh. I'm telling you, look at this spread. Oh my gosh. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Windy Corner has you covered. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, yeah. snack. snack. But clearly, the signature here is the sandwich. Yeah, we're a poor boy shop. That's what we really are. <laughs> we, we want to show you that everything else we do, but we're really a poor boy shop. Weta Michael is the visionary behind Windy Corner and all the scrumptious poor boys serve. We do oyster, shrimp, catfish here fresh. She grew up in Lexington, and she's always loved the horse country that surrounds it. And thanks to her Kentucky Proud cooking, there's now a lot more than just scenery to enjoy about this part of our home state. Ooh, that was good, wasn't it? Weta is the one who brought us Wallace Station on Old Frankfurt Pike, which is famous across the country for its monster sandwiches and fried chicken. She's also behind the Holly Hill Inn in Midway, where fresh produce from her garden out back turns into some of the best fine dining anywhere in the state. Oh, Weta. You are known as the queen of the bluegrass cooking, and we're so oh. lucky to have you here. We love all your places, Wallace Station, the Holly Hill Inn, I mean, all unique. And here, the Windy Corner Market, this is unique in itself. When you walk through the door, you just have that feel like, I'm at a country market. It was always a country store here, but it had fallen into grave disrepair and was condemned. Windy Corner is still a country store, but it offers a whole lot more. We do oyster, shrimp, catfish here fresh. And you can have them in a basket, in a, on a bun, however you want it. Just a fresh oyster poi boy. About a half dozen, maybe a baker's half dozen. Fresh oysters, we use Weisenberger fish fry. Oyster poi boy, excellent. The, uh, the crunch of the bread, the fried oysters, it's got the special remoulade sauce on it. Just a perfect combination, excellent. Look at this. Yeah, that's oh. a uh, smoked local chicken. That's from Hickory Run Farms and uh, stone cross bacon, white cheddar, our secret barbecue sauce we make here, uh, pickles and tomatoes, and so that's our chicken poor boy, smoked chicken poor boy. Very good, this bacon is very good. This is what we call our uh, barbecue boy. So that's stone cross pork, slow roasted, smoked and pulled, white, uh, we do a bourbon beer cheese here with a Kentucky Ale bourbon, bourbon ale and uh, fried pickles on the top. I heard the beer cheese and the fried pickles and that's all it took. I had to try it. It's very good. I always like the, the crunchy tombers you put on here. In this oh, case, yeah. it's a, a little fried pickle there that looks great. 
look at this over here. What do you got going here, This Rita? is our Kentucky combination. That's Browning's Country Ham, which we adore and love with melted white cheddar, and it's got all the shredded lettuce. And we have a special herb sauce we make here. We call it our secret sauce. Oh. <laughs> Can't go wrong with melted cheese over ham. And I don't know, you all might have to find out this special sauce next time because it's delicious. <laughs> Makes the same with thunder. This is our old-fashioned Kentucky boy. This is just plain old pulled pork. It's still stone crust, but it's got white cheddar and slaw, pickles and onions on it. Oh, this is like a barbecue. Traditional, because I like the slaw with my barbecue. Yeah, you, I do too. And you have it all in one sandwich. Absolutely. You get it all in one bite. I love this. Down there you can see that beautiful salad. Uh, all of our greens come from Berries on Brine, which is an organic farm that you can see from our front porch here. It's fried tofu, that's a balsamic miso vinaigrette, the organic greens, and fresh chickpeas, and also we use an organic sprout we buy from another local producer, Walt Precourt. So, Oh, All the salads are organic, local UAs, really killer. That's called the super salad. The super salad, I can see why. Not only is it super good, it's also super sized. That's right, we always have a whole grain salad. We have an orzo salad, we have a black bean and corn salad. We kind of get all the ladies who want to wash their fingers and all their lovely husbands who want to throw fun. down. And, <laughs> and have some good eats. And we're really going to throw down next on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs with one of Weta's most famous creations, the artichoke fritter. The artichoke fritters are very good. Awesome, Absolutely. aren't they? Oh yeah, the, the crunch on the outside, the creamy inside, uh, the remoulade sauce, outstanding. The remoulade is amazing, and until now, it's been a well-kept secret recipe. Well, there's one special sauce that we make here that everybody wants the recipe to. And I've said, no, 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 no. And I'm gonna show you that sauce today. You're gonna show us everything, right? You're not gonna leave anything out? I'm not leaving anything out. That's coming up next on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Plus, shrimp and grits as good as it gets. We're inside the kitchen with Weta Michael at the Windy Corner Market when Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs returns. Tim Laird with you again with more secrets of bluegrass chefs. And as always, we're on a journey in search of our state's tastiest treasures. Just outside of Lexington on Bryan Station Road, you're gonna find a windy corner that serves a lot of tasty food. And all of it is Kentucky proud. Whether it's chili made with bluegrass beef. Really good, full of beef, not, not too many beans. It's really good chili. Or shrimp and grits, as good as I have ever tasted. Best shrimp and grits. I love know. that. It's home cooking, made by one of the best chefs in the bluegrass. But Rita Michael is more than a chef. You could say she's an ambassador for all things Kentucky. Well, I went to UK, and um, the summer after I graduated, my dad drove me up to New York City uh, pulling a trailer, drove across the, you know, to <laughs> Washington Bridge, and I lived in New York for about eight years. I met my husband there. I, I worked in restaurants in Manhattan and then went to culinary school there, but that was many years ago now. But we're so <laughs> glad that you came back to the bluegrass. Well, you can't ever leave Kentucky. Oh, you know that. and we're glad you did. At the Windy Corner Market, Rita serves just about every kind of po' boy you could imagine, from tri-tip beef to chicken, and of course, Cajun-style fried shrimp and oysters. Where do you start and what do you order first? I mean, that's why people keep coming back. You gotta keep trying different things. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Wonderful. The po' boys are fantastic, but when you come here, you've gotta try the artichoke fritters. The artichoke fritter is great. I thought they were amazing. I loved the fritter and I loved the sauce as well. The sauce is a long time secret. One that Weta has never revealed. But guess what? That's about to change. Your oh secret God. sauce isn't going to be a secret anymore now that you're on secrets. I, I know, <laughs> but it's my gift to you. So get ready to take notes as we head into the kitchen at Windy Corner with Chef Weta and her right-hand man, Chef Mark. We start out with a, a number 10 can of drained, chopped artichoke hearts. Okay. Now this is a large batch, but we will have the recipe for you guys. Great. So we will be able to see it on your website. And we've got feta cheese, we've got Parmesan cheese, we've got Dijon mustard, a little flour, salt, pepper, and vinegar. It's a very, very simple recipe. So we just lightly scramble the eggs. We're gonna add those to the to the artichoke fritters. And we have flour, 
We have Dijon mustard, Parmigiano Reggiano, really good Parmesan, and then a really nice crumbled feta. That's probably our secret ingredient to the dish. I okay. think the feta is what gives it the bite and the tang. And then we have just a little salt and pepper and a little bit of extra vinegar. That's Great. just a white wine vinegar. So everything's all incorporated in there, Wida, and now we're ready for the uh, fryer, right? It's really incorporated, and Chef Margo let that sit for about 30 minutes in the fridge before he starts frying. And let it sit for about 30 minutes. Right. That flour sits in there, all those uh, ingredients share the love together. Yeah. 30 minutes, then right into the fry fryer. Time. Then all it's right. fry time. Right. And so we just scoop them out with a little scoop. See how he's got this one ounce scoop here? All right. And drops into these uh, fryers are 325 to 350. If you're making these at home, you can just definitely use your little Presto countertop fryer, and it takes about five minutes. You're just looking for that nice golden texture yeah. on the outside one. If you know that just looking at that, I, I can just feel the Good. crispiness on that. Yeah. It's just incredible. Look it's at a, that. It's a great dish. We serve it with a little bit of our secret remoulade sauce, which is our number one recipe request here at Wendy Corner. I've never released the recipe before this time. This is it, Kay. <laughs> never been released. We're going to see the secrets right now with Chef Mark. All right, Chef. You've gathered a crowd here to uh, check on the secret recipe. And I'll tell you what, they all love it. All right, Chef Mark's giving up the secrets. All right, here it is, the secret remoulade. We do all of it in a food processor, so it's super easy. Yeah, he has parsley and capers and garlic and dried tarragon in there right now, and he's processing all that together. Okay, that was coarse ground mustard that went in with the, with the seeds. I, I... That's right, with okay. the seeds and smoked paprika, and that was fresh lemon juice, and now this is cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper, so there's where it gets a little kick to it. And so all that, once it's uh, blended up, goes right into the uh, mayo. In the mayo. We've got a heavy duty mayo. That's really important. It's not gonna be the same with a light mayo. I'm sorry. And it's kind of like a pesto. It's like a crazy Cajun pesto. Oh my gosh. That you're then seasoning the mayonnaise with. And then again, it's just like the fritters. If they sit, it's good. All right, the secret was just revealed for the first time. You have it now. Now, I know we're supposed to let this sit for a little bit, right? But uh, I'm not waiting. <laughs> I got to do just a, here's a clean spoon. I'll just do a little taste over here. Wow! I can see why people absolutely love this. Creamy. I get a little bit of a kick of the uh, pepper that's coming in there. And that's even without good. the fritter. I, I can imagine what it tastes like with the fritter on top of it. So Taste the fritter! Okay. We just claiming this is the best fritter in the bluegrass. Are you kidding me? It's this is good. it. This is, I'm declaring this the best fritter in the bluegrass. Fluffy and light and the filling stayed together and they were crisp on the outside. They were very good. Downtown, triple <laughs> room. Wonderful. Oh my God. Yeah. Big crunchy outside, soft center inside, all that remoulade on there. And I love the sauce that she made too. It was just a great appetizer. For the first time, that remoulade revealed. I'll tell you what. Get no. yourself a big old beer and sit down and have a go to pieces right here in there. And not leave. <laughs> I just want to stay right here with my beer and fritters and, uh, and, and, and not go anywhere else. This is it. Oh, I'm glad you like it. You know Unbelievable. Know. Very good. The remoulade sauce was wonderful. Mark, great job. Thank you for showing us the uh, secrets to that. Wida, unbelievable. Well, thank you Winner, so much. best bluegrass fritter. For more information on Windy Corner Market or any other featured restaurants on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, log on to newlocaltv.com. And stay tuned for more secrets. Up next, it's a Windy Corner specialty, Cajun-style shrimp and grits. I gotta ask you, how is how are the shrimp and grits? They are amazing, absolutely. Best I've ever had. Even better, we're getting all the secrets so you can make them just like this at home. The fluffiness of the grits, the shrimp, the sauce in it, it, it all comes together perfect. We're coming right back with more secrets of Bluegrass Chef. with you again for more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. This time we're just outside of Lexington at a place they call the Windy Corner Market. We love coming to Windy Corner. Just quaint, quiet, in the horse country. You get to enjoy the views. 
Nice drive out in the country to get away from the city. Windy Corner Market is at the corner of Bryan Station and Muir Station Roads. It's the vision of Weta Michael, who's also behind the popular Wallace Station Sandwich Shop and the Holly Hill Inn in Midway. Windy Corner is unique compared to those, and it actually began as a gift. Our uh, landlady is Angela Beck from Gainesway Farm, and it was her dream to, ha her husband asked her, what would you like for an anniversary present? She said, I want a sandwich shop on the corner. And so he called me and said, would you come put a Wallace Station out of, <laughs> out of Bay County? And I said, no, no. And he said, please just come look at it. And I came out and stood on this lot, and you look over there and there's thoroughbreds running, and you look over there, there's thoroughbreds running, you look over there, I mean, so you could not, couldn't pick a better place. Windy Corner, as it turns out, is more than just a sandwich shop with a view. There are lots of other things on the menu, like salads, desserts, and the wildly popular shrimp and grits, which they only serve on Tuesday nights. You can come in for lunch or dinner and do a little shopping. They have everything from handmade soaps to jams, jellies, mustards, and even chutney. We have these great jarred tomatoes, tomato sauces, all from local farms. You can't forget AL8, we represent them on our shelves, but okay. all of those things are are locally made and usually from right around the corner. Keeping everything local here in Kentucky and I, I really like that. We have all kinds of local honey and we want to have as many honey producers represented as possible. We try to make everything Kentucky proud and if possible Kentucky damn proud because we want it grown <laughs> it here and produced here and everything else. Windy Corner offers a one-of-a-kind Kentucky dining experience. But the building itself is a recreation of sorts. This was all modeled on an old country store in Troy, Kentucky, which is in southern Woodford County. It's no longer operating. A guy lives sure. there. But we drove by, knocked on the door, went in, took all the measurements, <laughs> drew it up. And the reason it's painted yellow on the inside is because the store in Troy is painted yellow on the outside, this color. And we were going to paint this building yellow, but we got that beautiful siding up, that old reclaimed wood, and yep. decided it was too pretty to paint. So we just painted the inside yellow and left the outside natural. It's a casual place with casual food, but the flavors, very upscale. Food is just out of this world. So we have all fresh oysters that we fry here, shrimp. We do a pulled pork poor boy that is fantastic with bourbon beer cheese. So all of our meats are locally raised. Our eggs are locally raised. Our salad greens come from an organic farm, literally, that you can see from the front porch here. Everybody's been raving about the food. <laughs> the artichoke fritters, yeah. uh, shrimp and grits that are, yeah, are the best. I think it's time to get cooking. What okay, do you think, I do too. Great. Shrimp and grits, and I understand that Chef Mark actually uh, developed, this perfected his, this recipe? This is his recipe, he's, he's perfected it. It's a huge thing here. It all begins with a hot skillet and a little bit of oil. And then he's gonna start with fresh chopped shallots. So we got the shallots, the garlic, get that going, and now shrimp. Okay, shrimp goes in, there they go. And then he's gonna saute all those together, and now he's coming in with his Cajun spice, now we make our own, we have our own recipe for Cajun spice okay. mix. We've been making it for years and years. Now that's green onions. Now this is fresh lemon juice. We use a lot of lemon juice. And this is a secret, this is our shrimp, what we call shrimp and grits base. Mark makes a, a shrimp stock out of shrimp tails, all the shells, little beer, little bacon, Cristal hot sauce. Cristal hot sauce, that's the secret ingredient. Okay. Cristal hot sauce. And, and so he takes the beer, the, um, the Cristal, a little bit of Worcestershire, the shrimp tails, sliced up lemon, bay leaf, simmers all that, strains it. We make like five gallons of that at a time. He's putting all that butter in there. Basically, shrimp and grits is a butter sauce. And he's gonna, he reduces the shrimp sauce slightly, melts all the butter. Once he gets the emulsion just right and the seasoning just right, we're going to plate the shrimp and grits with uh, the shrimp with our grits. Of course, we only use one kind of grit here. Uh, we're using a Weisenberger stone ground grit. We do not use instant grits. But that's the thing. Don't use any of that box or the other thing. You've got to no, use no. the uh, Weisenberger Weisenberger grits. Mill stone ground grit. Because if you use an instant grit, it's like plating the shrimp and grits on, um, you know, like a breakfast cereal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've got white cheddar in them. And the key to a really good stone ground grit is to let it swell up. You cannot cook it really quickly. You've got to bring all the, the liquid to a boil and then let the grit sit in there and swell. That's beautiful, Mark. That looks absolutely fabulous. That does. I can see why this is such a big seller and why you can only do it on Tuesdays.
And then he has these crispy little onion rings he puts on the top. I nice. mean, nice. it's good. It is really, really good. You need a good amount of sauce. You can't skimp on the sauce because you want to make sure that they're flavoring those grits. You gotta drizzle a lot of the sauce on yeah. there on top of it. Because the whole thing that's good is the grits with the crispy onions, with the sauce, it all works Ooh. together. I can't wait for you to try that. I can't wait either. A final topper of chopped green onions goes on, and then my spoon is going in. Chef Mark, Wita, I can't wait to try this one. Oh my gosh. The famous shrimp and grits. Mm. Oh my god. Tell you what, we have done a lot of shrimp and grits. I think best shrimp and grits. Are there we go. Mark? I'm telling you, Mark, he has awesome job. The oh my god, the white cheddar that's in that grit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's just so creamy. The texture's wonderful. Man, I love the crunch. And the way the shrimp are cooked, tender, loving care. Chef, unbelievable. Oh my god, hats off to you. This is absolutely incredible. Fuida, thank you for all you're doing. Incredible job. Windy Corner Market, you gotta come out. Just outside of Lexington, a great place. Tim, thank you, you are welcome here anytime. Anytime, every time, all the time, every day. <laughs> I'll take you up on that. That'll do it for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird and we'll see you next time. I'm Lita Michael from Windy Corner Market. Thanks for watching Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs.